hello guys welcome back to another amazing video so we are going to be looking at um how to print out something onto our mt5 so we are going to look at uh, writing yeah basically writing the text hello world that is basically the first usually the first piece of uh code that uh beginner programmers write so that is what we're going to look at in this video, how to get that message printed out as an alert or a comment or even a print statement. So yes, guys, let me just modify this or customize it or fix it, whatever it's called. But yeah, let's get to it. I'm just going to open up my meta editor and then we will start. Yes. So we are going to open a new project. Um, we're not going to look at an expert advisor. We are only going to look at a script. What is a script? A script, using a script, um, we can write something that displays once. So basically, a script is like a piece of code that only runs once, unlike the expert advisor that's, that constantly runs, you know, as the price of the market changes. So... The script is perfect for this purpose and then sometimes as well um, when you're trying to create an expert advisor you'd want to, to, to see if something works and the way to do that is you use a script and it runs once and then once you confirm you get your confirmation then you co copy and paste onto your expert advisor. So yes a script runs only once so that is perfect for this video. So yeah let's get to it. So here we can put, um, we can name this my first script, yeah, my first script, and then author, you can put my name, but it's fine, um, link if you have a website, you can add that here, and then let's just click finish, yes, I, I, I previously had one, but I'm going to create a new one, so I'm going to override, yes. Uh, we don't need this, so I'm going to close this, and this as well, I don't need to see this, so I'm going to close this. Now, you can see all our piece of code will be here under the on start function. So, let me make this a bit bigger so that everyone can see it properly. Um, so, yes, let us get to it. There's three different ways of getting things to appear on MT5 and the first way is um, we can say a print statement so I'm going to comment print print statement so how does this one work so we can basically print out we want to print out hello world right so we can just say uh, print you see it appears there print not print format print itself so print and then we're going to type hello hello world there you have it and then we add our semicolon guys don't forget you always have to add a semicolon after you um you 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 type out any command so yes you've put uh, hello world there and now let us compile this and then let us go to our mt our mt5 and see if it's going to appear here so yes as you can see guys when you come here by uh, the navigator you click the plus and then it will show you all the different scripts here and then this is ours my first script is here so there's two ways you can can do this you can either double click and then you see the message what it gets printed under the expert here by the toolbox you can see it here hello world it is here so the other way let me just clear this again the other way we can um attach this here or to make the code run is to just drag and drop and immediately it appears there so let us do this we change let's appear let's uh, drag and drop again it appears you see it writes under so now this is the this is the first way of 
getting the the the, the hello world text to appear. So let us look at, let, let us look at the second way. The second method is using um, something called an alert. So let me clear all of this again so we can have a fresh start. Let us go back to our editor. So we have looked at the print statement. Now let us let me just do this. So we're going to look at the alert. Now with the alert, it is also going to um, get the message to appear under the, the expert by the toolbox, but there's a difference. So let us just see the difference. Alert, alert. And then we type hello world again. Hello world. And then let us do this. Put our semicolon. We compile to see if there is any errors in our code. As you can see, there is no errors. So now since we have compiled, let us go to our MT and check it out. So with this one, can you see? Hello world. So this is the alert. It pops up onto your screen. And as you can see there, it shows us this message saying, alert, hello world world so yes guys this is the other way and if you can drag and drop this as many times as you want let's put this here and you can see it appears again and again and again you see it keeps on appearing so yes guys this is the other way of writing um getting the hello world message to appear so let us look at the third way. And now with the third way, okay, let's get to the third way. Let me get back to my editor. Now, okay, sometimes to make it look a bit better, because now the messages are going to keep on stacking on top of each other. So the other way to do this is to separate the messages by maybe putting something like um, alert, and then we put, uh, let's just put all this. Discover, and then let us compile. Compile, then I'm going to attach that again. As you can see, it put those things there, and then it wrote hello world under. So as you can see, they will keep on coming under each other. So the best way to always separate them is just put something like this. So you know, okay. This is the next message that just came in just now. So, yes. Now, let us go on to the next one. The next way of getting, uh, of actually getting the message hello world to appear is using, let's call this the comment. Yes, it's called the commenting, but not commenting like I'm doing right now. Comment. Let's say comment. Comment, yes. Now, with this one, I don't know if some of you have noticed that sometimes some expert advisors or let's say some um, signal providers that are, uh, are turned into expert advisors or something like that, they usually have those signals here, which sometimes maybe you see on this, on this line here, you'll say buy gold or buy uh, AUD CAD um strong buy strong sell price there's always those texts that are just within this corner right here so how do we fix that not fix how how do they show that so they use the comment so now let us try try to do it so comment hello Yes, hello world. Hello world. Hey, yes, hello world. Let me put the um, and then semicolon. So let us see where this is going to appear. Let us compile, make sure there is no problem in our code, and then let us attach it here. As you can see, if you look here at this corner here, it's written. 
hello world now i'm sure you've noticed that um they make those things appear under each other let us try to see if we can do that as well so hello world let us copy and paste this and then we'll say um let's change this to hello world then after we'll say signal one signal one and then this one will be called signal two signal two so now let us compile this and check it test it again Ooh, do you see it does not show hello world signal one but it only shows what signal two why does it do that it goes from the top to the bottom so it basically overrides all of these and then until it re it goes to the last line and prints that out but how do these people do these things where you see signal one buy gold or they'll say buy gold strong buy strong sell like how do they do that okay so now we're going to learn something how to we're going to learn how to um make these things we're going to use the same things but we're going to make them appear on different lines so basically what they do um what you have to do is that you separate your lines but you write everything on one line but you separate them using these a comma no there's a yeah a comma and then and then we're going to put forward slash and an n so this is basically going to put the next text on another line let us just test that out and see if it's going to work copy and paste and then put another comma and then we're going to copy and paste this as well so basically you can see it's the same thing so this is going to appear on one line and then the next which is this one here is going to appear on another line copy and then paste and then i'm going to just comment these two out so commenting them out uh, yes so now let us test these and see if it is truly going to work first let me just compile this and see if there's any problems with the code nope so now let us see ah there you have it so you see hello world appeared signal one appeared and signal two appeared so yes guys this is basically and as you can see okay here it's no more appearing because we're no more using the alerts now let's go back to this so you see to to separate these right here for them to be on on single lines we we didn't have to write comment tw uh, three times we just have to we just had to write everything on one line but use this right here to get the next text to the next line to the line below basically instead of doing this we could just do this and then we we'll just pay attention to what the comma and then this right here so yes guys that is basically how to um get your hello world printed out you can play around with this and basically add your own things you can print out you can even print out let me say let me also print out an alert um alert alert which says don't forget to subscribe to my youtube 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 channel so we should get an alert that says that <laughs> and then that's the alert and then let let me also add um a print statement print print and then i'll just copy and paste copy and paste and then let me add a final line let me just remove um, signal one and paste so we can have the text appearing there as well so there it is um, 
let's see let's see let's see how it looks yes it is perfectly fine let me just compile and yeah there you have it let us get to, the, to this and attach it here do not forget there you have it don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that is our what our alert and if you come here as well the alert appeared and this is the print statement Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next video.